Hi, today I will try to recreate the error I already received in previous video. I recorded about the KVM chemo, right? And actually virtual machines. And if you remember, I wasn't able to ping between virtual machines and ping from host to virtual machines and from virtual machines to a host. And now I know what the problem is and, it, and I know how to solve it. However, this is a very huge topic, so I decided that I will record separate videos and I will try to explain one by one those information um, and you will be able to follow because it's much more difficult to watch a two hours video than you know, 10, 15 minutes video about one topic and then jump to the next one, next one, next one. And thanks to this, you will gather a knowledge about all of this and you will be able to, first of all, understand the problem, fix the problem, and you will learn how to install proper, uh, properly the virtual machines using actually three methods. One is a virtual builder. The second one is using the ISO image that I already presented and the network location from which you can actually install directly the operating system. So here we go. Let's switch to the CLI and then we will enjoy our journey. Okay, terminal. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I would like to recreate the situation I already had. So First of all, what I need to do, I want to create two disks, right? For two virtual machines. And then what I want to do, I want to install the virtual machine using the old method with the error. Actually, it is problem with this direct. And I'm going to present you what is exactly about and you can see we have a section um, networking options for a command virt install and here you have information about the bridge about the network but we are looking looking for the direct connection and here you have a description type equals direct comma source equals i face and then comma source mode etc etc and it exactly tells you that this is a direct connect to host interface i face using mac vtap and this is exactly what we were able to observe that we had uh, two devices actually um, called mac vtap 1 and mac vtap 2 or mac vtap five and 10, something like that. So let's go back to the CLI. And I'm going to install this. And after that, I will install the next machine. So I'm not going to present all of this because I already did in the previous video. I will just install it. And then I will present you the result. Then the next video will be about fixing it by editing the XML file of this machine one and two. So because we have a Debian direct one and there will be also a Debian direct two. So we will edit those XML files. We will change the configuration. First of all, of course, we'll make a backup. And after changing the configuration, we will start these machines and we will check is it working correctly as expected, right? So this will be the second video about fixing it by editing the XML file. Okay, so it's time to jump to another video about this. So I will present you there exactly that the ping is not working. Then I will provide a solution by editing an XML of both virtual machines and after that, you will see that the pink is working correctly. And then we will jump to another video about another option and, you know, about the installation of the virtual machines and how to make it work. So thank you very much. Have a nice day or night. Take care. Bye bye.